what's going on guys today I'm gonna show you guys a relatively easy method for starting a fire sometimes it, it I mean it, it can really piss you off and it can be challenging but that's with magnesium fire starter um, I've already gathered tinder small support fuel and then main fuel so I'm gonna set my camera down and I'm gonna jump right to this I don't know if I'm gonna succeed or fail I haven't messed with a magnesium fire starter in quite some time so let me just shave off some magnesium real quick put my cotton in the center The most irritating part about it is getting your sparks to go exactly where you want them. And sometimes you can't, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like right now, it's not happening. I've got smoke, but I can't tell if I've got a flame under there. Oh yeah, I think I've got a flame, guys. What you wanna do <coughs> after you get your flame. Oh shit. You are not going out on me, dude. The challenge, with everything being wet, for the most part, is that the challenge isn't actually getting the fire to ignite. The challenge is maintaining the fire. And pretty much. after you successfully get your fire ignited you start out with smaller fuels and work your way up to larger fuels now the hardest part about this in damp conditions like I'm in the hardest part about this is going to be maintaining your fire at first and the reason that it's gonna be so difficult to maintain that fire <coughs> is because with the leaves and your tinder and everything, it's it, in Alabama most of the time when it's rainy, it's really hard to find anything dry enough to burn. Which is why when I leave and go in the woods, nine times out of 10, I've already got tinder and fuel for a fire already pre-packed. I've got everything covered from killing to everything when I go out. I've got packs in the house, but this was just a quick how to use a magnesium fire starter video and get a fire going. And I did it and right now I'm at four minutes and something. I think that's pretty decent considering I don't use a magnesium fire starter on a daily basis. But I just wanted, you know, to put a video up of me, you know, I haven't posted a video in a while and I thought, you know, magnesium fire starter, you know, that's something, you know, that people could, you know, utilize, you know, and take from. I mean, they're not really hard to use. It's just sometimes they can be challenging. I just thought to myself, you know, this is good because people use this, you know, camping, you can use it for survival, you know, whatever. I thought it was good.
but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe comment you know it helps until next time we'll see you guys later